properties of materials in this module you will learn about some properties of materials that decide their uses to hold a liquid we generally use a tumbler made of glass plastic or metal we do not make a tumbler of cloth as it cannot hold a liquid Similarly, our cooking vessels are often made of metals or their alloys. They cannot be made of paper. To make an object, we choose a material depending on the properties of the material and the purpose for which the object is to be made. There are many properties of a material that decide its uses. One such property is appearance. Materials usually look different from each other. Metals have luster, but wood and chalk do not. Even many metals lose their luster when acted upon by air and moisture. We notice luster only on their freshly cut surface. The next property is hardness. If we press certain materials with hand, some of them compress while some do not. Likewise, if we stretch certain materials with a metal key, some of them get easily scratched while others do not. Materials which can be compressed or scratched easily are soft. Examples are cotton, sponge and a candle. In contrast, materials which are difficult to compress or scratch are hard. Examples are iron and stone. The next property is solubility. Let's try to dissolve a few materials in water. Some materials like salt and lemon juice dissolve completely in water. They are said to be soluble in water. On the other hand, some materials like sand and coconut oil do not dissolve in water, even on stirring hard. Such materials are said to be insoluble in water. Like solids and liquids, gases too can be soluble or insoluble in water. Water usually has small quantities of certain gases dissolved in it. The most important gas is oxygen. Oxygen dissolved in water is very important for the survival of aquatic plants and animals. The next property is the floating or sinking in water. Let's take a few materials like a coin, a metal key, stones, dried leaves and a piece of cork and drop them in a tumbler of water. Some of these materials float on the surface of the water like dried leaves and cork. On the other hand, others like coin, metal key and stones sink to the bottom of the tumbler. The last property is transparency. The transparency of a material is decided by the extent up to which things can be seen through it. There are certain materials through which things can be seen. These materials are called transparent materials. Examples are glass, water, air and some plastics. On the other hand, there are some materials through which things cannot be seen. These are called opaque materials. Examples are wood, cardboard, cotton and metals. There are also some materials through which things can be seen but not clearly. Such materials are known as translucent materials. Examples are oiled paper and some plastics. In this module you have learnt about some properties of materials that decide their uses like appearance, 
hardness, solubility, floating or sinking in water and transparency.